Hello and welcome to the Organic MD podcast. Hi, this is Dr. Damon Miller. I'm your Organic MD. And this is Carlisle Koash. Thank you for joining us here today. As always, you can check us out at www.organicmd.com and our YouTube page and our Facebook page. Yeah, which is also Organic MD. Yeah, they're all Organic MD. Yeah. We try to make it relatively simple. Hey, today I just wanted to talk. You know, we have our new book out, Stem Cells Heal Your Eyes. Mm -hmm. And it talks about, uh, it's not about injecting stem cells. It's about that system that you were born with that is able to fix anything that breaks or degenerates in you. And it's called your adult stem cell system. And it's just about how to make that system work. And if you've got a degenerative eye disease, you need that system to be working really well. So the mm -hmm. book just lays out the the history of the program that's been going on for over 30 years and what the pieces are and how you can get involved um, and things you can do just by reading the book. There's a lot there. Um, one of the common questions I get now is what kind, you know, because one of the, one of the technologies that's used in the program is something called microcurrent stimulation. Hmm. And which has been around for a, a long time, even before it was used for eye programs. Oh yeah. Yeah. No, this, uh, you know, I first, I first started, uh, I, I first learned about microcurrent stimulation from, this was before I was even in medical school. This was back in the 70s. I was tearing articles out of Nature and Science. I was kind of a nerd, and I read those things back then. But, And I'm still kind of a nerd, I'm told. But anyhow, <laughs> I, uh, I was tearing out articles by this guy named Dr. Robert Becker. He was an orthopedic surgeon. He was doing experiments where he was cutting legs off mammals and then getting them to regrow. And, you know, that caught my attention. Hmm. If you can cut the leg off a mammal and get it to regrow, that's a pretty magical thing. And he, he sort of understood that he was dealing with adult stem cells even then, that there were these uh, what are called pluripotent cells, cells that were capable of remaking anything. And, um, and so in a sense, the, the current that you would use in a microcurrent stimulator is, is helping support or encouraging those uh, adult stem cells to show up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean that's that's a there's a lot of complex understanding, but basically, yeah, yeah. yes, not to they're boil it down it. to some. That's really about as simple, simple as you can get, but that's that describes it. Yeah, okay. and so that's what we're doing with the eyes. If I figured, you know, if you can regrow an amputated limb, maybe we can regenerate some of those damaged cells in your eyes, and it it's worked. Hmm. Um, but a lot. One of the questions I get is, wow, there are just these different machines out there. Which one do I use? Well, it was interesting because the. Uh, there's the machine we've been using, and I, I'm not really supposed to in a public forum to talk about that, but contact us, go to bettereyehealth.com, get the book, read it, contact us, we'll, we'll let you know what we do. But the, uh, you know, there's the machine that we've been using forever, and all of the data you hear about microcurrent stimulation helping people with macular degeneration, and it's, all that data is based on the machine we've been using for years. Um, there's some newer machines that have come along, and especially something called frequency-specific micro, microcurrent stimulation. And uh, it's interesting because there was just a talk through the Academy of Comprehensive Integrative Medicine on mm. uh, their websites, acimconnect.com. And it was talking about the results that they're seeing using uh, frequency-specific machines. And what's interesting is that they're not getting any better results than we are. Mm. You know, they reported that doing a comprehensive program of eye health in that includes frequency-specific microcurrent stimulation, they're seeing about 87% of the people showing improvement. But, you know, back in the 90s, we looked at the first 120-some patients I did and using a comprehensive program of eye health and just regular microcurrent stimulation with a few frequencies, you know, the kind of basic frequencies that are known to be uh, kind of useful for everyone. And we were getting 87%. Now, it's closer to 90 now because we've added detoxification. We've worked more with diet. Um, so it turns out that really all that frequency-specific microcurrent stimulation has added is a lot of increased cost. So those units are much more expensive than the unit we use, and they're not really necessary. It doesn't buy you anything more other than a bigger price tag. Hmm. Uh, it sounds nice, but in practice, outcome studies have shown that it doesn't really do anything more for you. Hmm. So we're sticking with the machine we've been using and recommending like it. It makes idea. it, you know, ideally I would like to find a way to make this affordable for everyone, you know, get get enough doctors on board using this basic program um, so that it's, you know, just really affordable for everyone. 
because there's 28 million people out there and growing. It's a lot. Yeah, with macular degeneration alone. That's just that one disease. Mm. And it's the major cause of blindness in people over 65. It's a public health problem. Mm. And um, we need to do something about it. And it's not going to be through programs that cost tens of thousands of dollars. It's going to be through programs that cost hundreds of dollars. Well, and a thing that we see, that we talk about all the time is for, for us to be successful with someone in these treatments, they're doing a number of different things. They have to do it. They have to work on it. There's not a, a pill or a, a quick surgery or something simple that's going to fix it. It does take some discipline. And, again, that's hard, that's hard for people to, to yeah, adopt that. People, but, you know, people who are losing their vision, they're really But they're motivated. They yes. are really motivated. But and I think sometimes we don't see it suggested by an ophthalmologist because it's, it, it takes a lot of time to track somebody and to really encourage them, and, you know, it's a process. Yeah, well, yeah, the ophthalmologist, they're, you know, that's, that's the highest paid field in medicine now. Hmm. And that's because they do these really quick procedures that pay a few thousand bucks each, you know, each time. And you do 80 of those a day and you're, you know, you're making a lot of you're money. You're doing okay. Um, you don't want, they don't want to be involved in a program where you're spending hours and hours working with someone on diet, lifestyle, and, you know, things yeah. like that. But, yeah. hey, that's what we do. Yeah. So, Someone's got to do it, so we are. Hey, but we, uh, it's just really gratifying to see people get their sight back. So come to BetterEyeHealth.com. That's our special website for the program. And uh, you can contact us through our uh, contact pages just about anywhere. Ask mm -hmm. us questions about this. Yeah. But let us know what you want to hear. We're here for you. Thank you. So as always, thank you so much for spending a little time with us. OrganicMD.com, our YouTube page, and our Facebook page, which are the same name, OrganicMD. Check us out and um, see you soon. Thank you. Thank you.